Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome to a channel update video. Uh, in this channel update video, I'm going to do something that I almost never do, which is just directly tell you what game I'm playing next on YouTube. I love to keep surprises and I love to not tell people. But uh, but this time we're going to try some, I don't know. I'm getting old and in my old age, I want to try new things. I'm just going to tell you what game I'm playing next. I'll do that here in just a second. But generally, welcome in. These channel update videos are where I sit in front of a camera and my dogs sit over here and wonder if they're going to get T-R-E-A-T-S. Uh, and I just talk to you about what's on my mind and what you can expect on the channel and what we've been up to on the channel uh, and just kind of informally give you some information. So that's what we're doing here today. But first, I'm sure you're all wondering, what is the new game? When does the new game start? I'm here to tell you that one hour from this video going live, uh, I will be playing a new game, and that game is a Zelda game. What Zelda game? I will be playing A Link to the Past. I've actually already played a good chunk of it, uh, and I'm very excited for you guys to see it. I have been loving it. My dog is vomiting behind me, sneezing. Sneezing. Uh, I've been loving A Link to the Past, and we'll talk more here in just a second about why... I picked that game and not, for instance, Tears of the Kingdom, which has been really highly requested and which I will play eventually, I promise you that. Or Ocarina of Time, or, oh, this is just gonna turn into contest of how many, quick trivia game, how many Zelda games can I list? Breath of the Wild, Link to the Past, Tears of the Kingdom, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Wind Maker, Wind Waker. Uh, the cal Calamity? Age of Calamity? Nope, that's something else. Something about that? The original Zelda? I don't know. Is there an original Zelda? How did I do? Did I get nine? Wasn't there one called Four Swords? Or was that something different? I don't know. Anyways, we're playing We're playing A Link to the Past Uh, shortly after this video goes live. Hooray for Zelda! I'm so happy to be back to Zelda. Why... I'm going to talk some more in the next couple, uh, in the rest of this video about some other topics, including the longest break that I've ever taken from recording YouTube videos, um, what you can expect for the next month, and uh, an update for, you know, what's going on with our family in the next month, if you care about that. But first, let's talk about why I picked this game and why, uh, why I'm playing it. I got a lot of recommendations to play, of course. Tears of the Kingdom, after we played The Breath of the Wild, yes, the the is necessary in all of its uh, large fantasticalness. I would love to play Tears of the Kingdom right this second, but first I wanted to get a broader sense of what Zelda was about. I wanted to, frankly, feel some nostalgia for Zelda or get a little bit more of a well-rounded picture for Zelda. So I knew I wasn't gonna play Tears of the Kingdom next. So here's my decision-making process. Um, if I wasn't gonna play Tears of the Kingdom next, I needed to figure out what game I would play. What appeals to me? Is it lore? Is it just the game being incredible? Is it um, a specific art style? And I thought about it and I talked to some really good friends uh, and I talked to many of you. Shout out to everybody who recommended exactly which Zelda game they wanted me to play. I love hearing recommendations. I hope to get to all of them before too long. Um, maybe not all of them. Getting to every recommendation ever is a long list, but I do hope to do this for the next like 20 years, so. <laughs> Maybe. Um, and I decided that what was important to me was uh, that I thought I wanted to go back in time a bunch and that I wanted to go for like an art style or a, a type of game that I might have played growing up. I have not played any Zelda growing up, but I am such a sucker for the, I don't know what the exact name is. Is it, is it like 16 bit? The like, Top down, almost like Game Boy type, like Pokemon Yellow type sprites and top down view. And like when I saw uh, the art style of A Link to the Past, I was like, okay, I know what one I'm playing. Uh, I know that game is really highly recommended, one of the greatest games of all time, apparently. And it's in the style that feels nostalgic for me. I owned a Super Nintendo about 10 years after they were popular because my mom didn't want us having any consoles growing up. I owned a Super Nintendo. Shout out to my mom. Uh, you're the reason I read so much as a kid. And it just feels like a game, if things would have gone slightly differently in my life, I would have played. And so now I'm playing it and I love it. And I cannot wait to also get to Ocarina of Time and when the other, all the other ones that I just mentioned. <laughs> and someday Tears of the Kingdom. But I had a, the, other, the other main thing 
the other big thing, which we'll talk about here more in just a second, the other re restraint that I had is that it is currently April. And at the end of May, I hopefully will be bringing home uh, a child, <laughs> my wife and I's first child. And so I had a window in which to play a Zelda game. And I picked one that was a little bit shorter uh, than Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so that's why I picked uh, A Link to the Past. I really hope you guys enjoy the series. If you've played it, I really hope you enjoy it. If you have not played it, maybe you could play it yourself. It's on Nintendo Switch Online if you get the membership. Or you can get a free seven-day trial, I think. Um, so you can play it yourself. You can experience a game that I think, I, I think I'm right in saying it's like touted as one of the greatest games of all time. Uh, I'm not that far into it, but I am far enough to know that it's really good. Um, so yeah. So hey, there's a big thing happening in my life uh, in a couple weeks, and we should talk about that in terms of a channel update because things are gonna look a little different around here, and you should know what to expect, and I should I should tell you what to expect. Um, any we're I would say we're in like any week now territory. We're not like in any day now territory, but any week now. Um, I could be going on an indefinite, uh, not indefinite, that sounds bad, a, <coughs> excuse me, a short uh, paternity leave. Um, I'm going to take at least one month of no uh, content on the internet. Um, anything that I've already streamed and set up into videos, that will come out. Anything I've already recorded, that will come out. Um, but other than that, it might be like a period of going dark on the channel for um, probably at least one month. And then after that one month, I think things will slowly sort of start to come back. This is really strange for me. Um, I just took, uh, between the end of Baldur's Gate 3 and the start of this Zelda series, I just took a three week break from releasing daily, specifically recorded for YouTube videos. That's the longest I've gone without doing that in four years. I've taken some shorter up to, I think, like five days breaks in the past. Um, definitely some like couple day breaks, some three day breaks. I think five, maybe it was like seven, uh, a, a five or seven day break in the past. Um, I just took a three week break because my life is changing very drastically very soon. Uh, and I spent a lot of that time. I, I Unfortunately, some life stuff came up. I had to deal with, you know, some family stuff. I did my last little piece of travel before baby gets here. Uh, I got a lot done in terms of like our nursery is now mostly done. Um, that's gonna kind of be the norm uh, here very soon. Uh, for four years now, I've held on to release a new video every day. Um, and if somebody wants to watch you play every day, there will be a video there ready for them. There may still be, at least with Twitch, you know, streams turned into videos, there's still videos going out every day. Um, but there will maybe be a little bit of a change in content over the next six months. Um, I hope to eventually, I don't know what our new normal is gonna be in six months, but here's what you can expect on a timeline. One month, absolutely nothing. Maybe after the end of the first month, I might find that I really like this job, I love this job, and I want to do a little bit of recording here, a little bit of recording there, a smattering of an episode or two a week, something like that. Or maybe I'll do a Twitch stream and, and stream a game that I can also turn into a YouTube video and put up for you guys to see as well. Maybe. Um, one month, definitely nothing. Probably around two months um, of that sort of smattering of things. I really don't know what to tell you to expect because I don't know what I'm going to be expecting. I don't know how much I'm going to be sleeping. I hope and pray that everyone around here is healthy. But we just don't know, and so I can't tell you. Um, I'm hoping to really take some time during that three months to spend a ton of time with my family, my little, hopefully, the, my growing family, my little small unit. And um, that's about as much as I can tell you to maybe expect, because that's about as much as I know. After that, we'll see. Uh, will we go back to daily recorded content every single day? I don't know. I think probably it will lean more towards like five days a week or something like that. Maybe less, maybe more. Um, here's what I will promise is not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm still going to play games blind because I love playing them this way for your enjoyment because I love sharing them with you. And I'm still going to be playing the absolute bangers, the classics, the games that were popular at least five years ago up to 30 years ago. <laughs> 
I'm not going to be playing things that are super recent, except with random exceptions like Baldur's Gate, and I don't know, maybe I'll play Stray soon or something. Um, yeah, and then this will still be the same place as always, uh, ideally, the, the place I've tried to make it, which is a place where we can talk about video games as art very seriously and also just have a lot of fun doing it, you know? Um, take the thing seriously and see what it gives us. Yeah, so that's the story of how things are changing around our around our place. Um, I'm personally working through the, like, I have loved being a very hard worker and getting stuff out every single day for four years, minus some exceptions. I'm personally having to be like, hey, you're in a different period right now. Soak up what you're in. Do what you want or what you can for work, but um, you'll get back to it eventually. What can you expect for the next month? Here's the deal. I don't know if baby's coming next week, if baby's coming three weeks from now, but up until that happens, I'll keep pouring stuff out. Um, the last thing I wanted to say, and I'll keep this video pretty short, I think. Um, the last thing I wanted to say is uh, just a, a very large thank you. Um, <clears throat> in these channel updates, I get to speak a little bit more directly about my life and the life, my, my life off camera, the life you all have enabled uh, me to have and my family to have. And I just want to say thank you. Um, in some of the last channel updates, when we talked about the fact that we were expecting, in the, up, in the update where I asked you guys for recommendations for games, for short games, uh, you guys are awesome. I have so many games now that I've gotten to. I've gotten to play some of them in the last little window. I have plenty to play in the in the little future. Uh, thanks for all the people who weighed in on parenting and where you are in your own journey. Journey, um, and most of all. Thank you uh, to one specific group of people, which are our patrons, our Patreon patrons. I tried something new with this video, which is that they actually saw the video that you are currently watching 24 hours uh, before you did, which is normal. But in this video, I said what game we were playing. I gave away the game and the patrons heard about that 24 hours before anyone else did. And that's just my way of saying, you know, thank you to them uh, in a in a in a type of business that is very like up and down roller coastery hard to know what to expect from one week or month or year to another uh patreon continues to be one of the most like the consistent backbone that lets me do this job and lets me return to it after paternity leave and all of that jazz so major major thank you more than always more than usual i should say to uh the patrons um but yeah that's about all I have to say. How's that for a rambly 12, 13 minute video? Uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon, uh, in many videos uh, in the next month or so. And then around late May, I may not see you for a while, but don't take no news as, maybe I should say that. Um, in the event that uh, you don't hear anything over here, I would say just assume things are okay. If you really, really want, if, if you're one of the weird people who doesn't just care about the videos that I make, but also are interested in the lives behind the video or whatever, um, easiest way to keep up to date in the next couple months is gonna be either Discord or Twitter. Both of those links are down below. Um, those are the places I am consistently every day. If you don't wanna be on either of those apps, also okay. Assume no news is good news and I'll see you in a couple months when I pick up your favorite game or a game that you've always wanted to play. Until then, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. How do I end these videos again? Bye bye